Hi, my name is Renke Wienert and in this video I will be demonstrating the firmware-based TX shaping features of the PN5190. I will be using a standard evaluation board of the PN5190 with the NFC cockpit in combination with an EMVCO test bench. I am starting with a simple wave shape test. Let us do a load protocol for type B, a field on, and then let us start the endless request B with a cycle time of, let's take 20 milliseconds. Then I can start the wave shape test. To speed up such a first test, I'm using a debug option of the Scilab test bench, which simply checks the wave shape on a single command only. The test is faster than I can explain, but what we see is that we pass all the selected test cases except the overshoot test in some positions. So we need to fix that. The PN5190 offers an automatic TX shaping feature, which enables a transition state between the modulated and the unmodulated state. During this transition state, the PN5190 can use up to 16 carrier cycles to apply a smooth transition instead of a hard switch. In this tutorial, I plan to use the firmware-based shaping, which simply offers a linear transition, a two times linear transition, or a three times linear transition. To modify and control that shaping feature, First of all, we select one of the failed test cases and then switch the Scilab tool into an endless repeating mode. Then we can disable the auto scale and zoom in into the interesting part of the modulation pulse. In this case, we are interested in the rising edge to visualize the overshoot. We stop the endless request B and switch to the DPC calibration tab. There we start the DPC calibration loop and enter the TX shaping tab. Here we select the type B protocol, which then automatically loads and shows the corresponding settings for the TX shaping. In this case, we use the linear shaping with a rise time of zero which corresponds to a hard switch from unmodulated to modulated. We re-enable the endless request B in this tab, which shows the same bad overshoot in the test since we have not yet touched any of the settings. So let us modify the settings. Let us start to increase the rise time step by step from 0 up to 7. We see the rising edge slowing down. However, even with a long rise time, we still see the overshoot failure. So let us try another shaping, the two times linear shaping. And yes, we see the immediate change. Still the rise time is quite long, so let us decrease it to 5. And this really looks nice. There is a clean rising edge with no overshoot. So this setting shall be my fix. So let me save it to the EEPROM. Then I stop the calibration, switch to the normal reader tab, load the type B protocol and switch on the field. Then I re-enable the endless request B. Restarting the endless test in the Scilab tool then shows us that the fixed settings which I stored into the EEPROM have been applied with the load protocol. Let me stop the endless test, re-enable the robot control and restart the complete test sequence. And we can already see from the capture that now everything is green. So we are done. 
Thanks for watching this video.